Hey everybody, this is Jeff from Build an Aquarium Workshop. All right, uh, welcome to our next episode. All right, so uh, if you just saw the intro, you saw this is our 40 gallon rimless uh, reef tank and uh, it's come a long way. Um, and uh, today's episode though, we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, show you uh, how to use this product. Uh, I'm sure many of you have heard of it, but in case you're newer to the hobby, maybe you haven't heard of it, it is called Reef Roids. All right, for your corals, and it is a powder. So this is something I have been using. This bottle has lasted me for maybe a couple of years. It's uh, it's been a while. So you can see that what that's what it looks like. And um, as far as what it is, I'll, I'll go over that. But uh, this right here, uh, what we do is we go ahead and we mix it uh, with your salt water from your tank and we'll go ahead and do that and then we're going to show you there's two ways that you can apply that uh, as is true with pallets and, uh, uh, and anything really if you're, if you're feeding uh, like a formula one or two uh, frozen brine shrimp anything like that uh, you can thaw them out ahead of time uh, in a container and uh, in this case we're going to use this powder we're going to put a little bit in there so we do have our little um, scoop here there's a little scoop uh, so we can scoop just a little bit out. So this is feeding, this episode's feeding your corals. But in this case, we're just feeding the Refroids powder. So we got our glasses on. We want to read, read what this uh, Refroids actually is. Okay. So it is marine planktons. Okay. So uh, I'll read it to you real, just real quick. Uh, it's a blend of naturally occurring uh, marine planktons, which contains a species of zooplankton that is unique to our product, okay? So it's formulated, formulated to minimize water degradation is ideal for uh, gonopora, zoanthids, mushroom, and all filter feeding corals. Uh, and you're supposed to, the directions, here's the official directions, uh, it's on actually on the bottle, is every 100, for every 100 gallons of tank volume, mix one teaspoon of reefroids uh, with some water from your tank. And then for optimum results, use what I mentioned, use a syringe to target feed this mixture while the tank circulates and it is off. Uh, otherwise, disperse the mixture in the tank. Best way to do that is just throw it into a power head and that way it'll shoot all over the tank. And so that's our first method. We're gonna go ahead and do that first. So scoop a little bit of water, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and use a quarter of a teaspoon, okay, which is plenty. And depending on your biological load, you might have a ton of corals, you might not. Um, you might have some that really don't need to feed. A lot of them use the, utilize the light, but uh, there's some that could really, that definitely benefit from feeding. So we're not even gonna do a quarter, we're gonna do maybe a little less than that. And we're gonna go ahead and put it into there, our water, okay? Just go ahead and we'll take this and we will mix it up for you. Okay, you can also kind of swirl it around above the tank. The tentacles come out on the corals that, that have them. Okay, so there's the power head right here. We're gonna go ahead and we've mixed it really good just by shaking it and then we're putting it into the aquarium there. And uh, the pineapple coral over here next to the uh, frog spawn has closed up big time as it has captured food. It took probably a minute or less uh, for that to happen and they will Continue to open back up, of course. Um, start seeing the tentacles are starting to come out of both of these corals that you're viewing up front. Okay, so we are here ready to spot feed. We have our little bowl here, if you can see in our syringe, and we have mixed the powder again. And this time we're gonna go, we've turned off the flow, so everything's pretty still. And we're gonna go ahead and syringe this into these two front corals, the A-can and the coral next to it. And we're just gonna gently squeeze this. You'll see like a powder maybe. A lot of times they retract. The guys see all those tentacles. Okay, don't have a lot in here so it's looking pretty clear. And it's the same thing here, right? We'll get a little bit more of a mix. We'll shoot that out into the frog spawn up very quickly. Let's get some into him and into that head who's probably not getting much light. See that? They're retracting. Try to get that in there. And again, you know, you can do this. See, the pineapple's open. Duncan's appreciate it. Of course, they love that stuff. Most of the corals do. Okay, so there's a close-up shot. After feeding them the reefroids, okay? So they, the corals usually kind of shrink, right? They go in as they're taking food. Now, if it's large uh, particles, you know, large pieces of food, you'll actually see them stuck there. In this case, it's just a powder. 
So you're not really seeing anything stuck there, but you can see their tentacles have come out. And I try to feed all around. Try to feed evenly you can. Uh, if you you know if you've got three heads, then you want to feed all three heads. That kind of thing. There goes that bristle worm. And uh, yeah, you can see over here. Let's go ahead and look over here, and you can see their tentacles have come out since I have shot some of that refroids into there. These, these corals will love it. They really grow quickly. Uh, you know, I would recommend skimming. Let the corals eat, and then probably later on, yeah, in the evening especially, lights go down. Then you can probably go ahead and skim and whatever whatever is there, it'll skim it out, keeping your tank nice and clean. All right, folks, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you wanna see more building a aquarium workshop, you know, hit that button, that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video.